Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Happy hump day. Hump day, hump day it is. Well, it's lunchtime. I made eggs and some turkey sausage this morning. Some new turkey sausage I tried from, we tried from Aldi's and it's really good. Go watch my Aldi's haul. You'll see it in there if you want to know what one it is. So anyways, I'm getting ready to make us a flatbread. Tim's home today, so I'm getting ready to make us um, a low carb, carb counter, uh, pizza like I did the other day. You guys seen it. So I ain't going to film it all, but you know, I just wanted to. Shane's one is eaten, and then I just had bread, just had these two sausages and two eggs. And then I got some eggs, I'm making some deviled eggs for, to go with dinner tonight. I'm making some stuff, um, stuffed bell peppers for dinner tonight with some deviled eggs. And probably some mac and cheese or something like that, I don't know yet. We'll see. Anyways, might change my mind though then, because I don't eat the mac and cheese. So anyways, I will get started. Okay guys, here's my pizza. I cut it in half this time. Last time I didn't. Or the first time I made one, I didn't. But it's a lot better cut in half because I cut tins like that. It's a lot easier to eat. Hey guys, I'm getting... Oh. You guys always fall on your faces. <laughs> I'm getting uh, bell peppers on. I'm going to boil them first. I'm going to do some stuffed bell peppers. Yeah. Delicious. Get this here. Need a spoon more for it or something? Yeah. Butter knife. Butter knife. And then probably a fork for Just mixing the yolk. Megan's working on the deviled eggs for me while I do this. And then I'm going to boil them like this and then I'm going to stuff them. Like this sideways because well normally we don't need a whole one <laughs> for one thing that's for sure I need a little more knife cut this out to make it kind of I don't like this weight part in here anyways myself Tell you the truth, I don't. This I'm going to cut up and put my salad. My salad bowl mixture I got to make salad out of. Ugh, this one's rotten inside. <laughs> don't look like the bell pepper itself's rotten though. Just the seeds. So, get it. And I would, I'm not going to keep this one though. Yeah. All right, I got that all cleaned out. Looks better. Okay, I started to make these today because it wasn't showing outside rotten at all. And then I'll put them, once they boil, sounds like I got water in my pan. I'll, uh, um, stuff. We'll give them a good old stuff. Okay, you guys, I'm putting ground turkey in it with um, season it with Mrs. Dad's garlic and herb, onion, and some good old Kroger garlic. And then I'm gonna do some tomato sauce and rice cauliflower. That's what we're gonna stuff in the middle, of it. and then. I got the cheese laid out. I gotta grate it. Put some cheese on top. Okay, mm -mm -mm -mm. Megan's got the eggs. I'm going on. All we do is put whatever kind of mayonnaise we got. We got this Hellman's Royal Mayonnaise. I got three of these from Sam's. Big bottles. Love them. But if I put them in the door of the fridge like this, they fall out. So you gotta do it like this. <laughs> and black pepper. That's all we're putting in them. We don't like mustard and all that in ours. No. Thank you. Not anybody in the house. Well... Me and Megan don't put that way. You guys, she's even doing it the fancy way. Ooh, we're getting fancy deviled eggs tonight. <laughs> Ooh, look how pretty that is. That is fancy. Ooh, they smell good, don't they? They do. Smell like eggs. <laughs> Still smells good. They do, yeah. They smell good. Mm. Mm. 
How'd you come up with this fancy idea, man? You. Ooh, see, you guys, I told you I'm a good influence. Because I'm fancy. <laughs> That's why they call me fancy. This will be a perfect amount for us all. Hopefully, I can get them in and get it cold a little bit. I like my coat. Oh, just gotta add more. All right, you guys, so now it's time to do the bell peppers. I'll boil them for about 15, 20 minutes, but just remember, I'm gonna spray the pan keep them from, you know, sticking with olive oil. My boy, you all told me about this. I was like, that's a good idea. So I like what's soft. I do. And I think Okay, put those in there. I know, I need to. I need my camera up like this for y'all. You guys can see better. Like so. Hmm. Well, toodles. Ain't gonna work, is it? I'll figure it out next time. I do quick with videos. And then I got some grated Colby duck cheese we'll put it on. Throw them in the oven. Until the cheese is good and melted, you take them out. Just so you know. Just say the cheese is good and melted. We put that in the seat for me. Since I've done doing this, I'll show you guys. I'll pick up the camera and show y'all. A little better. And I'm going to pour all the rest of it in here. All over them. I think I just dropped some on the floor. Oopsie. If that will turn out good. Here they are without the cheese. Now I'm going to put some cheese on. I will. Much cheese left. I'll save that for my tacos. Okay, we'll put this in the oven until it all melts. And of course, I'll show y'all. Okay, you guys, here they are. They're all done. Oh, it smells so good. You know what kind of smells? Like lasagna or something. <laughs> it does. So then we got that all good and done. Lots of pictures at the end. Why not lots? Double eggs. So what we'll have for dinner tonight.